it really helps if I put myself on the screen. <laughs> this is my little something just blew off and into my mouth. Uh, mystery jar of stuff that I'm going to can't say unbox. I'm gonna unjar, unjar it. <laughs> Hello. Um, and I hope that my brain keeps up because I am. I am really tired tonight. It was another day of building shelves, which are done, which are done. My shelves are back up in the garage. Now I just got to unload my inventory back onto the shelves. I'm back in business. Yes. Um, so got to do that. And I still got to finish moving. So I was over at the old house. My car is loaded. Um, it's going to get done. It's just going to get done. It is what it is. It's going to be a late night for me, though. But I thought it would be fun to go through this together. Together. Oh, and I did I did start working on my tortoise pens on this end. So I feel much better about that now that I at least got the framework all put together. I, like, I know how everything's going to go. They put an insane amount of tape on this thing. So bear with me as I do a little untaping. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Um, this is something I picked up the other night. I don't think I, I didn't film it because um, I usually don't film when I'm up at the jewelry counter because there's too many employees. They don't like to be on film. So um, I just kind of do these little things incognito, but I will share with you uh, what all's in the jar. This one was $14.99. It was the least expensive one they had, but it actually looks like it has the best stuff. So we're going to find out. The rest of them were um, $20, and they did not look as enticing. One of them was just all bracelets, all bracelets, um, which is all fine and good, except I'm not a big, oh, right off the bat, right, right out of the gate, right out of the gate, we've got something good. I've got a June 2005 Hard Rock Hotel Las Vegas slot player pin. Now, what's significant about this is the fact that this hotel is now closed. Um, so this one doesn't exist anymore. So this is a pretty good pin right there. All right. That's a good start. Wowza. We have got some... We have got some hoop earrings. I'm telling you. Look at the size of these. I thought they were bracelets at first, but no, no, these are pierced earrings. These are hoops, hoop de doops. All right. I'm just looking to see. Maybe they missed it. Maybe they're silver. Wouldn't that be cool? No, they're not. I can tell they're not. Okay. Not silver. But then we do have a bracelet. Oh, I thought this was uh, one of those open shut ones, but it's not. It's just kind of linked with some stretchies. It's got the original. See, this is stuff they pull out of the case and they put it in this. So they were asking three bucks for this one. It's not bad. It's not bad. Actually, it's it's made pretty nice. So there's that. Ooh, this looks like it might be glass. It's a very, maybe it's shell. Look at it, it's very thin. You can see right through it. Okay, well not right through it. But it's very, very translucent. So I'm not sure what that's made of. But it's nice, it's not bad. It's just on a little leather rope pendant, but that's, that's pretty cool. And for those who uh, attend my live sales, when I do the jewelry, I'll put a bunch of this stuff together. Um, I don't just sell like one piece at a time. I sell it in lots. Okay, this is cute. They were asking $10 for this. They're like, there's their price tag. Um, it is a little set of smidgen, pinch, and dash little measuring spoons. Look at those. Those are really cute. And then it's got this little hook, which I don't know what the hook would be for. Oh, to hold the spoons. 
duh. Told you I was tired. I'm looking to see if there's a who done it on them. There is not. Those are those are super fun. I like them. I like when there's non jewelry stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to find out who put. Ooh, I'm gonna have to find out who put this together. So I can tell you in tomorrow's jewelry sale, I have a whopping crafter lot. I have found a whole bunch of stuff that I had saved up and I had forgotten what I did with it for a while and I found it. So we got a big crafter lot. This will be in the crafter lot because it is missing one of the stones. So this will be one of the things in the crafter lot tomorrow. Camera, come on, work with me, camera. Camera's not going to work with me tonight. It'll work better tomorrow, I promise. So I'm just going to put that right over in my little crafter pile. The, oh, I thought this was two necklaces. It is one necklace with two different colors of the beads. And these are little wood beads, little wood with a little barrel clasp. Whoop, there's my camera. Barrel clasp. They had been asking $5.99 for that one. So I'll put that with. I usually try to find like items. Like I'll see if there's more wood, you know, necklaces to go with that. Here's another bracelet. Also tomorrow I'm going to have a whole bunch of brooches. Did you say brooches? Brooches. Brooches. How do you say that? Is it brooches? Brooches. I've always just read it. I've never said it. Pins. <laughs> we'll just call it pins. Um, so there. It's a stretchy. And this is a new set of just little they're like cloth wrapped bracelets. Nothing too exciting. Bro oh C H sound could be both. That could be <laughs> that could be sh or sh. <laughs> Is it like, is it like, um, like roach? <laughs> Let me know if it's like roach. <laughs> Designer line earrings. Designer line earrings. These are pierced. So we will have, we'll have earrings. We'll have bracelets. We'll have necklaces. And we'll have pins tomorrow. I have still... Got to put the catalog together tonight. Here's another piece that will go in the crafter lot. This was a vintage piece, but it needs a little repair there. So it's just some brown and white beads. So that's a crafter lot piece. This is interesting. It's like a little Celtic cross made out of stone with a little bead on the end. It's quite nice. Looks like a little copper fitting there. That's not, that's not a bad piece right there. I like it. All right. Now this is what I saw. I saw some little stones. This was intriguing to me. Okay, I gotta see if, like roach. Okay, it's roach, like roach. <laughs> It just sounds weird. Why does it sound so wrong? <laughs> Sometimes you read something and you like, you know, you kind of hear it in your head and then you go to say it and it's like, that just sounds wrong. Okay. Here is this one. Look at the little, little stones and beads. This one is actually really nice. I like this one. I like this one. Um, and it's just your regular... Well, is it? Yes, it's a lobster claw. Okay, I had to make sure it wasn't broken. It's not. Just looked a little funny. Now, oh, little mesh earrings. I actually kind of like these. Just little mesh pierced earrings. Put that in our earring lot. That is my phone going off. My phone's been crazy. All right, this is a little clock bracelet. I'm gonna close it. All right, there's a little clock watch. I guess you'd call it a watch bracelet, huh? It's got a little 
this kind of latch. Let's see, is it running? It's made by Eclipse, I want to say. Eclipse. Oh, and it says, live, love, laugh on the back, which is nice. Okay. We'll check that out a little more and see if we can get it to tick. I know nothing about watches. That's why I don't sell them. You've been repairing all week and organizing jewelry. See, I don't, I just, there's no way I have time for repairing and organizing jewelry. I don't have time for organizing anything. <laughs> Here's another bracelet. Unfortunately, this one is missing one little stone. So that will go in our crafter repair lot. All right. This is another necklace with. There's, there's some interesting little beadwork. I'm not exactly sure what those are, uh, but they're intriguing. Made into the shape of a flower. Maybe you guys know. I almost thought shell at first, but I think it is shell. I think it is polished shell. I think it could be. I see rhinestones. Hold on. Your little tag is tangled. Well, my goodness, hold on. Or I should say, stand by. We've got this. Maybe. Oy vey. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I think I got it. Maybe. <laughs> I keep saying that. Uh, this is interesting. I'm not exactly sure what that's made of. It's wrapped in leather. I can tell you that. And it's not focusing. Focus, camera. It's going to drive me crazy. I want to show you. I want to show you close up. It's not going to let me. I mean, it looks like it looks. Oh, it's not a two. Look, it's a hook. It's a hook. I think it's carved from bone. I don't think it's resin and it's leather wrapped. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's not a tooth. The hook is too. The hook is too hooky <laughs> to be a tooth. It's got that little extra thing on it. That, otherwise, I would have thought I thought tooth at first, but it's got that extra little barb on it. I don't know what kind of a tooth that would be. Okay, don't let this be broken because this is a nice little rhinestone necklace. Look at that. So it's a vintage rhinestone necklace. And it's got the old hook with the rhinestone up at the top. Oh, look at that. Score. That's a nice piece right there. That's, that's almost worth the jar. All right. I'm happy. I'm happy with this jar. I am pleased. Okay, this one up. Oh, we got another missing stone. So this will go in the crafter lot. So you guys are getting the preview of what's going to be in the crafter lot because I don't show it as thoroughly during the sale. So it's missing one of those little tiger eye. So that'll go there. Is it a Maui hook? I don't, what's a Maui hook? I don't know. Is it a Maui hook? <laughs> you tell me if it's a Maui hook. Here is another needing repair bracelet. I'm trying to see. These would be easy fixes for somebody who knows how to do this. I also have a whole bunch 
of um, actual jewelry making supplies, fittings, and whatever you call all the little things and the doodads and that. I'm going to do that lot tomorrow too. This is another bracelet. I'm looking for a name. Oh, it has a name. It has a name of Sarah Coventry. It is a Sarah Coventry bracelet. So there we go. Nice. Ooh, this is neat. Look at these stones. And they are stones. They are not plastic. These are stones. Okay, come on camera, look, look, they're stones. Show them the stones, camera. People get upset and then they leave bad comments because you won't there. See, I just have to tell it what to do. That's what these look like. And then it's got this little dealy bob at the top. Oh! Cool. We'll wait and see what I got tomorrow, Melissa. Now, you know what? This just made me think. This is how bad my life is. When I went to San Diego in December, remember all that jewelry I bought? I don't know where that went. I didn't sell it. Or did I sell it? Did I did I sell some bracelets like this? Because this is what toggled my memory is I remember buying some bracelets like this out of shell. I don't remember selling those bracelets, which means I didn't sell all that stuff I got in San Diego. Or or am I losing my mind? Okay, Melissa, help me out here. Help me out here. Did I sell that San Diego stuff? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Which means it's around here somewhere. Oh my gosh, you guys, my life right now. <laughs> Calgon, take me away. Yeah, it definitely the jewelry definitely would have come home with me. It would have it, it would have made it into a suitcase quite easily. All right, this is a little um, stone bead bracelet. These are little polished stone bobblies. There, yeah, it's going to cooperate. I guess I just have to get a little closer. You sold in San Diego. Not this last time, did I? I didn't do a live sale this last time in San Diego. That was the time before last, I, but that was all stuff that I took to San Diego to sell. I didn't sell the stuff. I know I didn't sell the stuff that I bought at the swap meet the last time I was there. Yeah, it, I got it off all those tables. And then I came home and came in and, and, and started into mad moving mode. So it's still... This could be like Christmas when I start like unpacking all my boxes of stuff. <sighs> okay. So here have another little necklace. These are like just little cheap, cheapy little beads on this one. But it's got a nice little chain. Yeah, no, I seriously feel like I'm losing my mind. I found when I was organizing my eBay room, I found a whole bunch of Christmas jewelry. So you guys tell me, should I hold off and save the Christmas jewelry till next year? Or is there any interest in Christmas jewelry lots now? I will let you guys decide. So I have some pretty cute Christmas jewelry. Oh, we have a pin. I'm just going to say pin because brooch just sounds weird. This is another um, it looks where's my loop? Oh loop, oh loop, come out. Where's my loop? So I was sitting right here and of course right now it's not. There it is because I put it away in a drawer like a good girl. <laughs> 
You buying Christmas lots now? Okay. There was a trunk in that hall. Yep, that was my daughter's trunk. I think we emptied that trunk. Oh, good grief. I'm losing my mind. No, she surely would have told me if I'd have left a whole bunch of stuff in the trunk. But I have a car that will make it out there now. I still can't make out. I think it's Sarah Coventry. Alma. It's got enough letters to be Sarah Coventry. I still, I can't, I can't, I can't make it out. Maybe, maybe on here it'll, see what I'm looking at there? Is that, does that say, it does say Sarah Cub. I should have just done that in the first place. It's kind of a nice little S, little S, S brooch. So. I know they buy all year long. I, I do know that. I just don't know that prices are as good all year long. Oh, this is cute. This is a really good jar. I'm very excited. Sometimes there's a lot of broken stuff because they just, somebody back there just like, it, it depends on who's loading it. Um, this is stuff that's all been pulled off of the shelves. So it's all stuff they had prices on. So that means it was out on the floor for sale at some point. Isn't that a nice little piece? Look at that. And it's got the little, it's got the little dealy ball <laughs> on the end. I don't know what the technical term of that is. Dealy ball. We'll call it a dealy ball. Oh my, oh, this was like a bicycle chain here at first. Hold on, I'm, I'm tangled, I'm tangled up. I've got one thing tangled in another and <laughs> this is bizarre. Hold on, hold on, there's a ring. Wait, how do I get that out of there? Okay, I got the ring untangled. Okay, check check this baby out. Hold on. Let me close it back up because it's it's a little unruly. This looks like 80s jewelry. This is like <laughs> I can't even you won't be able to see if I do that. Um yeah, it's like a bizarre bicycle chain meets rose kind of thing here. <laughs> I just don't even know what to say about that, but it's interesting. <laughs> there are three signs of old age. First is you forget things. Second is what were we talking about? <laughs> yes, I hear you. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out, is it a pendant? Maybe it's a pendant. Maybe it's just, or maybe it's, no. Is it a, I don't know. What are you? You're tangled. That's why. I think it's a bracelet. Okay, Rachel's going to have to work her little untangling magic on this one for me. Hold on. Wait a minute. I might have it. Anybody else get stubborn that way? You're like, no, nope, I don't want to put it down. I just want to accomplish it now. <gasps> I did it. I did it. Okay. It's a little bracelet with this little slip knot kind of chain thing going on. And it has, it has a J. So I don't know what the J means, but it might be an anklet too. But we'll put it with the bracelet. Could be a, oh, you think this, I don't think this is big enough for a belt. Now, it'd have to be somebody really, really skinny because that wouldn't even fit around my waist. So they'd have to be even skinnier than me. This is made in USA. This is a cute little pin. I'm going to take it off of its little card because they stuck the price tag on it, but it's a, 
it's a B on a 10. So I don't know who would have, maybe I shouldn't have done that. There he is. It's kind of cute. There's something on the, I don't know, what does that say? Let's try to figure out what that says. Um, blue. Hundred and thirty years. Sorry, I'm so shaky, guys. Baloo. Does that ring a bell with anybody? We'll just put it back on its little card, and I'll get that sticker off and see. Yeah, if there was anything on the back, it's going to come off because the sticker is right over it. But wait, there's more. Baloo B, does that ring, like, is that a name I should know? Okay, here's a piece that they did not, they did not know how to fasten this vintage. It's got one of these, the little secure little, I don't even know what you call it. I'm not even sure I know how to uh, put these together. I know it goes... Might have to Google, how do you close? Okay, what is this called so I can Google it? Where it goes into the little clasp and has like that little extra hook to it. I know there's a name for it. You guys know it. That's your maiden name? Oh, wow, Vivian. So what you're saying is you want me to offer that one by itself. Okay. I don't, I, cause I just don't, it's not, is it, it's not a lobster. It's one of those, um, like, I know I didn't do this right, but anyway, I'll show you. <laughs> like I said, I'm so tired tonight. These are little dichroic glass beads, vintage dichro dichroic glass beads. This is a really nice necklace right here. Fish hook. Thank you. I knew, yeah, and I'm not showing it enough to really help you out here, but I know that has that little extra. Now push it in. Oh, wait. Now push it in. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. That was it. Okay, so you hook it and then you push it in. All right, all right, all right. This is a nice piece. I'm very excited about that piece. That's this is a great jar. Now, I just saw something about someone paid $500 for something. Okay, $500 for what? Let me scroll back up. Margaret um, bought one at $500, a, a jewelry jar. What did she buy? What did she buy? I'm missing, I am missing your comments over here. I got to pay closer attention because you guys teach me things. Oh, their jewelry jars were $49.99 and $59.99. That's, that's just crazy. I can't imagine they're selling them at that price, though. Come on. Holy moly. Okay. All right. This is cute. This is a little charm. I'm having to move these little price tags out of the way. I'll have to take all these price tags off, but. Not right now because I don't want to break anything and I don't have scissors. Um, but it's got some nautical themed charms, kind of lightweight, but there's a there's a seahorse, there's a ship's wheel, there is a sailboat, an anchor, and a little red piece of coral. That's actually it's really cute. This jar was $15, 15, 15, and the other ones were like 20, so not that much more. They just didn't excite me. I've got to see something that excites me, and I saw, 
I saw the stones in this one, so that excited me. And here's just a, a mesh braided necklace. And here is a <laughs> looking for a descriptive word for this bracelet and it's escaping me. It's trying to look like um, some kind of, there we go. It's trying to look like snake skin, but it's, it's, I don't know. It's not snake skin. It's like a painted fabric -y kind of, I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> Tomorrow, hopefully my brain will be working. Yeah, I tell you what, this Goodwill that is close to my house now, I am so in love with. <laughs> they are the best. I mean, they're cheerful. They don't mind if I video. <laughs> it's so good. They help me out to the car. And then ask me about udders. <laughs> you guys saw that post? Yeah, my my license plate says utterly and the young man, well, he wasn't that young, asked me, he goes, do you mind if I ask you a question? What are udders? And I'm like, um, he goes, well, I see your license. I said, I said, yeah, I raised goats and we milk the udders. He goes, oh, I thought they were private parts. And I said, nope, they're boobies. <laughs> All right, so we have another little bracelet here. This is cool. It's magnetic for opening and closing. I mean, you tell a guy something is boobies and they get it. <laughs> These are glass. These are glass beads. They are cold to the touch have some size, size, have some heaviness to them, have some weight to them. That's a nice little bracelet. Oh, the ring. Where'd that ring go I had before? Here we go. We've got rings. Oh, ooh la la. Where do you see these rings? Mm -mm. We've got rings. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Come on. Focus. Focus and show. Oh, it's missing a stone on this one. So that one's going in the crafter lot. So we've got that one there. Blue boxes. What are blue boxes? Tell me about blue boxes. What's a blue box? And here's another ring. It's another fancy schmancy ring. There we go. Got to help the camera line. There you go. Fancy schmancy rings. So we have two fancy schmancy rings. Oh, there's more rings. There's more rings. Oh, darn it. This one is also missing a stone. But I'm looking. This has a kind of a silver feel to it. And it is signed. Lucky, lucky brand. It was a lucky brand. Lucky brand, but it is missing a stone, so that goes in the crafter lot. I see another ring. Goodwill blue boxes go live on Friday nights. Oh. Oh. $30 for five pounds. Sounds fun. I don't need more stuff right now, though. I don't need more stuff. Look at this one. It's actually kind of, kind of nice. So we'll have a we'll have a little costume jewelry ring lot because I got the one that I got at that estate sale too. If I can find that stuff, I can't. I don't. Everything got buried. That's the problem. Should see my front porch. This is a. Uh, what is this? I don't. I don't know what how this works. I see 
Hold on, I'll show you, I promise. I'm just trying to get it open and figure out. Oh. So it's got this really weird little, so it's not like a pin. I mean, it's a, it fastens. What is that for? It looks like that. Focus, focus, focus. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. It's trying to focus on my dirty nails. Yes, I've been working. It does not want to focus. Come on, camera. Let's surprise you. Come on. It's so sparkly. I want you to see it. Camera is not going to cooperate. <sighs> Maybe uh, for a scarf. Maybe it's not very much room on there for a scarf, though. That's what's weird. Hmm. Oh, and there's one more little ring. It's this one. Nope. This is a little. <laughs> it's a baby ring, or it's it's somebody with a very tiny little finger pinky ring. Because that's as far, that's my pinky, and that's as far as it goes. So a midi ring, maybe. But so we have that ring too. Goodwill Blue Box is a separate Goodwill site that has jewelry boxes, clothing, and other lots that go on sale on Friday afternoons. Boxes by the pounds, like a liquidation concept. Well, that sounds fun. That sounds too fun and I must resist <laughs> all right last I have two pairs of earrings so we've got these little purple beaded earrings and we've got owls oh are they missing they're missing stones so they would have had little stones for their belly so those will go in the crafter lot I told you the crafter lot is going to be really good this time really good there oh that sounds really fun I gotta tell you I really go back to the lucky ring the lucky ring is over here and it is missing a stone okay that's the lucky lucky brand lucky brand um I used to do storage lockers. Like that is how I really got my start in the whole reselling world. And it was back before storage wars. So you could really, you could really get some good stuff. And the prices were so low. It was amazing. Um, and then storage wars came along and everything changed because everybody drove the prices up. So I kind of got out of it, but it's balanced back out. And I got to tell you, I'm, I am itching to do a storage locker again, but I have to, I can't do it alone. I mean, that takes, it takes a lot of work, um, but you can make so much money because there's so much stuff. So if I, if I get my plan together this year of opening a thrift store, I may go back to storage lockers and we'll have donations and it's, it's just going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. And I can't wait. Yeah. So, hey, thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. Um, I uh, obviously I didn't get a chance to go shoot any video in the last couple of days. So this is um, taking care of both showing you guys some cool stuff, but also keeping the powers that be at YouTube happy that I have content going up today because that is important because they expect me to have a video every day. <laughs> I have set that expectation for them. Yes, uh, Tommy in Seattle, I do want to open a thrift store. That is my ultimate goal. My goal is to supply resellers. That's what I want to do. Um, I don't need to sell on eBay myself. I would prefer to send this stuff out to all of you guys. Yeah. I know, I know, Lucky Brand, but that it's gonna go, it's gonna go in the repair crafter lot so that somebody can repair it and make good money on it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's my that's that's my that's my dream right now. I actually got to tell you guys, get this off my chest. So when I take Rachel to horseback riding, there is a house, a big house that sits right on the corner of this major intersection. There's shopping retail across the street. Um, the house sits back in all of these big mature trees. The house was built in 1988, done a little research. Um, it looks, it looks like an old Victorian, you know, it's a custom home that was built on that lot. It is a full acre and it is zoned commercial. So I'm kind of hoping it stays available. I got my eye on it to do like the thrift story thing because I would love to do the thrift store in more like a state sale layout fashion kind of thing, you know, make it fun to shop. I don't know. That's just my thing that I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking about it's what I'm thinking about. A Utah attorney was talking about cleanouts on homes being done for divorced couples, not just on older people who passed. Never thought of that. Did you, there are house cleanouts being done like, yeah, for all sorts of reasons. Um, you know, the company um, got junk. Like literally they come and take stuff away, but they charge you to come and take it away. I mean, it's crazy. There's like a whole business like, yes, Jeremy and George are my friends. Yep. 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 They have given me actually a lot of, of mentoring help developing my channel like they are awesome people even as busy as they are they take time to help people like me they are great um but yeah so i got involved in the house clean out because i happen to have a friend whose business is doing those for the banks when people foreclose and they lose their home and, and you know, and they get locked out and leave all their stuff behind. And, and a lot of times that happens because someone passes away and nobody in the family wants to deal with it. They come like, believe me, the family comes and they pull out what they want. That's why you don't find, you know, jewelry and, um, weapons and, and that kind of thing. Usually it's usually household items, knickknacks, artwork, clothing, bedding, that kind of stuff. Um, I did go on one of them with her where you could, t the whole place had been what they call turned. Like somebody had gone through there and just ransacked the place looking for things. And they missed something that I found. I was so excited too. It was a, it was a pew pew. <laughs> and it was a brand new one, brand spanking new. It was, it was way deep in a chair cushion. And I found it. It was pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, so the families come in, they ransack, they take what they want and then leave it. Don't want to deal with it. The live sale tomorrow is at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Pacific time. Um, Jeremy and George's channel is What the Hales. H-A-L-E-S. Because his name is Jeremy Hales. So it's What the Hales. There you go. Melissa put it in there for you. And they put up daily content as well. Yeah. They just bought a fantastic property in Florida. I'm, I'm like, almost want to move to Florida, but then I'm like, no hurricanes. I'm not doing hurricanes. I'll stay here. I'll stay here. You have boxes of your grandmother and mother's belongings that you're researching and selling on eBay. Can't wait to hit the thrift stores after you get this all sorted out. Yep. Yep. I can't wait to have a yard sale or two to get rid of a lot of stuff and I'm a little bit torn you know I want to open my own thrift store so I almost like I don't want to donate anything back to a thrift store but yet 
I don't want the clutter. I'm a little, what do I do? What do I do? I know there's always more stuff. I know I'll always get more stuff. The birds are out of their cage and they're in running loose in Rachel's room. So they're quiet right now. Yeah. So yeah, when Rachel's home, they're, they're playing with Rachel. I was in there on a call with um, my daughter, Jordan. We were talking about some things because Rachel was in here with her tutor because she can't do a webcam on her computer for some reason. We can't figure it out. So anyway, I was working in her room and I let Scoop the lovebird out and he, he was crazy. <laughs> He was all over me. It was very hard to get anything done. He's a nut. I'll have to bring him in here sometimes, like when I'm doing a sale and you guys can see him. But he's a he's a little nut. All right, guys. I am going to put all this away and get ready for tomorrow's sale, which will be at one o'clock Pacific time, which is 4 p.m. Eastern time. What is that? 3 p.m. Central? How come there's... Why is it... Why is it... What is one hour ahead of me? If Central is two hours and Eastern is three hours, what is considered one hour ahead? Or is there a one hour ahead? See, these are the things that clog my brain. And then I start going, huh, why isn't anything just one hour difference? It's got to be. It's got to be. Because there's only a one hour difference between Central and Eastern. So there's got to be mountain, mountain time. Yeah, but you don't ever hear of anything being in mountain time. I mean, Arizona, because Arizona doesn't change. Anyway, I'm going to totally confuse anybody who's now like wondering what time the sale is. <laughs> it's just my crazy, tired brain tonight. Um, so, all right. I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to. Coming soon, this is what I'm working on, is getting my mm, together so that I have my lots laid out at least a day in advance and I can put them up on a website. And those of you who can't be there live could leave a proxy bid. So that's, that's my goal. It's my goal. All right, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. And with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you tomorrow. All right, everyone. Good night.